Hi friends, I'm Shayla of the Blue Elephants and today I'm going to be sharing with you a pattern for the softest, coziest baby blanket you have ever seen. This is my snuggled up baby blanket. And when I call it snuggled up, I mean it is so snuggly and soft. It is heavy, it is smooth as silk, and it is just it's just a delight. <laughs> I love every single thing about this blanket. I love everything about the yarn. I love the stitch work on this. And I think you guys will too. I really hope you do. Um, I have all of the information about this blanket will be in the description down below. The pattern, the tools I used, everything. And I will have links to the free pattern on my blog available down below. As well as links to where you can buy the PDF which is an ad-free premium format of the same pattern in my shops. So I will link everything down below. In this video though, I will go over how I work the stitch, how I make this blanket, and just kind of walk you through the steps. It is super simple and super easy, and I hope you guys love it. So for this blanket, I'm gonna be using this Yarnspirations Burnat Forever Fleece. And I picked up four balls of this yarn for this project, but I think I'm only going to be using four. Um, whatever the final result is, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. But this is a number six super bulky weight yarn. And it tells you right here what hook this calls for, but I'm going to be using a different hook. Um, yeah, this is just really nice, fleecy, soft, thick yarn. So for this, I thought the 10 millimeter and slash P hook would be the best hook. Um, and I also like that it matches the purple color, but so yeah, this is the hook that we are going to be working with. Okay, so we're going to take our hook and start with a slip knot just like that. Insert your hook into the knot and we're going to start with a chain of 81 chains. You can do any odd number that you want for this blanket, but for the size that I want my blanket to be, I'm going to start with 81. So I'm just going to go ahead and work 81 chains. final length for our chain and this is a super easy pattern because it is just a single row that is repeated over and over again so once we have our chain so we're gonna skip the first space the first chain from the hook and working into the second chain we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet into the same space then we're gonna skip the next chain and into the chain after we're going to repeat that, just a single crochet and a double crochet into the second space. So this pattern is going to go all the way down until your very last space, where you're going to work just a single crochet into the last space of your row. And that is all for that row. So yes, just continue doing skip one space, single crochet, double crochet into the next, skip one space, single crochet, and double crochet into the next, and just follow that all the way to the end, ending with a single crochet in the last space. Okay, now here we are at the end of the row. So what it looks like so far. And all that's left to do is work a single crochet into our last space right here. So we're just gonna insert our hook and work a single crochet as normal. And now you can take a look at how this first row is coming along. It's only one row, but it's pretty thick already and it just looks lovely. 
So we're going to chain one and turn our work around to work our second row. Okay, so we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and into this first space we're going to work a single crochet and double crochet into that first space. So that is the single crochet from the round before, the row before, so I'm going to single crochet and then double crochet right into that first space. Now we're going to skip this space and then we're going to work the same thing, single crochet and double crochet into this space. And we're going to continue that all the way along. I'm going to skip a stitch and then single crochet, double crochet into the next all the way until you get to the end and you'll end the same way with a single crochet in the last space. And we're just going to work a few rounds of that. We're just going to keep going working this exact same pattern. So skip the space and then single crochet, double crochet into the space. And that's all there is to it. As you're working, you're going to need to attach some new yarn. So right now, here is where my blanket is at. I've added two balls to this and I'm going to attach my third ball right now. Um, so I want to show you how to do that and how I like to do it. It's really super easy with this yarn. Okay, so to attach new yarn, we're going to pick up our piece. Um, and this is where I left off, so I'm just going to grab my hook, stick it in there, and I left off on a, in the middle of my space, so I did a single crochet and our next stitch is a double crochet. So I'm going to leave this much tail, it's a couple of inches, six, seven inches, and I'm going to add my new yarn. This is a new piece of yarn, I'm going to hold in the back. I'm going to yarn over with the new yarn and work our double crochet. Make sure to hold the first yarn and the second yarn's tails together. Finish our stitch. Now I'm going to skip the next space and into our space here, I'm just going to continue working like normal. So I'm going to single crochet and double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet and double crochet. And you'll notice here, I have my tails just hanging out right here. We can just leave these hanging for the moment and then when we're done with the full blanket, we'll come back and weave all of these in. And it'll, they'll pretty much just go through the back of the stitches between these loops a few times so that they're secure. And then we will have a clean finished blanket. So I'm gonna work this blanket until it's the length that I want and then I will come back and show you how to finish it off with a nice border. Okay, so I am back with my blanket almost fully done. I've worked the length of the pattern for as big as I want this blanket to be and all that's left is to do a border. Because this is a heavy yarn and the blanket is already pretty heavy and it has a really nice stitch pattern throughout the blanket, I'm going to keep this border super simple and I'm just going to do a round of a single crochet all around, but I'm going to show you how I get the corners to be pointy. So this is our last row that we worked and we're just going to single crochet in each space across now. So I have my chain one, I've turned the work and I'm just going to work a normal single crochet into each space until I get to the corner.
Okay, now we've gotten to our last stitch right here in the corner and we're going to turn this corner and work along the side of our blanket. So we're just going to work one single crochet as normal. That's our last stitch. Then we're going to chain one, single crochet again in the same space. And now we're going to turn our work around and we're going to work along the side of the blanket. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to work single crochets all the way along. And we're just working into these gaps between the rows. So they'll look a little different, but you can see that there's a gap right here, there's a gap right here, and right here. We're just following the divisions between the rows. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be um, one stitch to each space, although it most likely will be because our stitches were quite simple and they were just single crochets at the end anyways. But you don't need to worry too much about count here either. Just single crochet in each space as they come along. And you'll have a nice clean border on all sides of your blanket. So you're just going to single crochet like this all the way down this side of the blanket. And then when you get to the corner, you'll do the same thing that we did here. We're going to single crochet in one, chain one, and then single crochet again in the same corner stitch. Turn the work, and then we'll be working along the bottom edge of the blanket. And then we're going to turn around one more time, and we're going to work all the way back up to the start of our row. And we'll bind off, and we are done. So I will work a bit of this, and then I will come back once the blanket is finished to show you how it looks. And here is the finished blanket. This baby blanket was super fun to make. It only took really about a week to make and it only used four balls of yarn. You can spread that out over more time if you want or you can work it all in one go or over a weekend if you want to make it faster but it really depends on you. This blanket was super easy and I love the way that it turned out. I love how it looks and I love how it weighs just the right amount and I love this yarn. I'll definitely be using this for more patterns soon so stay tuned for more patterns. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!